come in guys, I've got the Wind Tigerous Backwoods Bungalow. They say this is a lightweight tent, right? But I weighed it and it weighs 1.4 kilograms. Four season. Uh, I got it because it, it's an A-frame tent, Baker style, with the flap that goes at the front. You use the tent with uh, walking poles, so if you're out trekking, you could use the walking poles. But uh, I will say before I put the tent up, there is lighter tents out there, honestly. You've got the, is it the Lang Shang that uses one pole? Or even the one Tigerous one that I got, the big TP one, that only weighs a kilogram. But because I like the design of this, I, I got it. So I want to thank One Tigerous for the tent, and uh, we'll set it up, guys. So I'm in shot. So I'll clear. You can set it up with the with the poles, but I'm going to try and see if I can do it. See against the trees, make a ridge line. Yeah, first before we do that. Before we do that, I'll show you the tent, tent pegs. Look. I'll use them. Tent pegs. Very nice. Then we've got some guy lines in there. So, we'll set it, set it up. So there we go guys, uh, it comes with one of these, right, I pulled mines off, I just do a top line hitch, so I'll take you up and I'll give you a look what I've done. So I've just tied a knot there, so it's like a loop, then I've done a top line hitch at the bottom so that you can lower it up and down. So you can lower it. Or you can pull it back up tight like that. So I'll peg the rest of the tent out and I'll bring you back. So there's the tent set up guys. Just to say that I got an extra peg with this tent. Uh, I did actually get a couple of pegs missing from the other. No, no, sorry, it was guy lines, wasn't it? But 
I like this, I do like this, I know I've only just set the tent up but I've been sitting on it, it's really nice see that huge big massive door it's good, so I'll show you how I've done it you could use like a pole right, but what I've done is I've used like a ridge line see from the actual baker style door I like the fact that you can do that personally I wouldn't do it in the rain because I think the rain would uh, puddle, see here but just for certain or you could use a stick and prop it up like that as well, see like that you could prop it up couldn't you so I've done a ridge line as well see over here but uh, see when you do the ridge line right the ridge line that I've done the tent kind of sags so it definitely is better if you use a pole see to prop it up here probably is a bit sagging but I'm not going to be camping in it tonight obviously if I was camping I would set it up better but I'll take you around the back and show you it's got some pull out points as well yeah, guy line here we've got a guy line going there I'm also propping up with the pole just to give you an idea that you could use a guy line yeah just get pull outs at the back I uh, see the, the material, it's 3000 hydrostatic head yeah, uh, it's, it's good material stitching seems okay we'll find out the more that I use it, won't I? so, two pull outs or guy lines let's get inside the actual tent so this is a three season tent, I don't know if I said three seasons I would use it in winter as well if it wasn't snowing because there's no there's no pole in the middle if it snows is there but there we go there's my, my mat you could get two people in when they say it's a two person tent you could get two people in at a squeeze couldn't you maybe if it was me and my ollie so you've got a nesh part at the back for some breeze but I'll take you in and I'll show you but see that that is what sells it for me that big massive door so it's got a nesh part as well if it's summer time here's the the mesh part of the door so I've seen some people saying the back of his bungalow the first one was hard to get the clips off see at the top there and it's got a bit for your light as well so you can uh, zip that up for when it's mozzy or midgy season in Scotland but yeah it's a single single skin uh, tent so I do not know what the condensation will be like not used it yet but if you like the tent keep watching my channel and uh, I will be using it so if you liked the video uh, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel I'm watching a big eagle up here about to land so yeah I'm out in the woods for today I'm going to cook some lunch next as well but that'll be a separate video so I thank you for watching guys and uh I'll do more videos of the tent, I do like it the, the tent that I had years and years ago was like a that kind of style it was a free man tent F-R-E-E-M-A-N but it had like a pole in the middle, my pole broke so I used like a snooker cue to hold it up it was probably one from Argos that we used to use when we were doing wild camping, well, <laughs> back in the days it wasn't called wild camping, wasn't it? Not? Camping in the back garden, things like that. So, yeah, and I did camp once. See, when I was younger, we did do a big shelter. We dug a shelter. So, if Chris is watching, Chris will remember that back when we were about 11. We dug a big hole. <laughs> 
and we camped out in it. No sleeping bags, no nothing. We were cold. <laughs> but yeah, I'm waffling away, aren't I? So, thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Thanks to One Tigress. Thank you.